stunning one and only Ocean Club in Nassau, the capital of the Bahamas, where Pic Day has had a presence since 1978. This was the ideal setting for the fourth edition of the bank's Latin American Family Office Masterclass. The event brought together wealthy families from across the Latin American region in an intimate retreat environment to discuss common values and shared challenges, all against the backdrop of white sand and blue skies. This year, expert speakers from PICTE and external specialists focused on two central themes that are currently creating both pitfalls and opportunities for families, their investments and their businesses, geopolitics and technology. PICTE, which has been advising families for over two centuries, explained how family governance is an essential navigational tool in a constantly changing world. As part of a bank, I think we're witness to successful and less successful experiences from entrepreneurs who have each tried you know, to venture in the world of family governance in a way. Um, combined to our own history, I think uh, we have the breadth and depth of experience to guide those families through the process and provide pragmatic solutions to global challenges. Geopolitical uncertainty can have a huge impact on investment decisions. In an unpredictable geopolitical landscape, it's important to understand the risks and opportunities at play and to allocate investments accordingly. We cannot ignore geopolitics. They can really influence markets. We really saw what happened in the case of Brexit, in the case of Trump. And what we need to do is use volatility as another asset class. And that, that's what we did in the case of Brexit. We don't manage portfolios for the negative outcome, but we need to take it into account. The rapid advance of technology is another force that is creating unprecedented disruption, both for investors and business owners, and those in Latin America are no exception. One of the key messages to emerge from the masterclass was that nobody can afford to ignore the rise of new technologies. What we see is that if you look at all new technologies, most importantly artificial intelligence, but also robots and 3D printing and drones and now solar energy, for example, these allow you as a startup to create products and services that are way cheaper, more faster and more effective than let's say the incumbents. That means you have to change as an incumbent. You have to disrupt yourself on the edges because it will be disrupted, disrupt yourself or somebody else will. Grappling with an unpredictable world combined with a low growth investment environment can be challenging. So the masterclass presented several ways in which alternative asset classes can offer interesting returns and opportunities, from buying famous works of modern art to investing in the property sector. Real estate exposure is something that should be had in everybody's portfolio. If you pick the right real estate investments that's good for the long term, it's the one rock of Gibraltar that you can know that you can count on to be both secure for you and be there to appreciate in value over the longest periods of time. Since the days of the Bible, it's been looked at as one of the most important asset classes and it has not changed since the biblical days until today. With plenty of food for thought, the guests then attended one-on-one -on -one sessions and in-depth workshops on a variety of subjects, ranging from how to structure a family office to what to consider when investing in disruptive innovation. These provided a forum for attendees to debate key questions and, crucially, to compare and contrast their own experiences. PICTE facilitated this sharing of knowledge and ideas throughout the masterclass with a series of more informal networking events. There was a day of golf with Ryder Cup winner Paul McGinley, a wine tasting and dinner designed by wine experts Le Club for Coffee, as well as lunches, dinners and a cocktail evening. These moments for reflection and lively discussion created an environment far removed from the hectic and increasingly digital world in which the attendees normally live. I think Pictet is going to be at the forefront of, uh, of the digital world in finance. I think we are we're going to do many great things, but we will never lose sight that you know trust and meeting and face to face is still what drives a relationship. I don't think you can digitalize a relationship. I think what we learned over time is that we need to let clients talk among themselves. What we try to do is we try to give them 
and a, a framework where they can exchange and hopefully learn among themselves and just for them to remember that it is PICTE that is bringing them together for us, that's, that's the great feature. It should come as no surprise that PICTE understands what wealthy families around the world, including in Latin America, want and need. After all, the bank is independent, partner-owned and has itself strong family values. Every family is unique. But at the end of the day, as we, we, we saw during these uh, two days of the Family Office uh, Masterclass here in the Bahamas, there are so many common threads, you know. Uh, when you're running a business, you're running a family business, you have a family, how these two interact together. This is really something that at Picte we understand very well and this lengthy experience is really something that we love to share uh, with our guests. Come to our Family Office Masterclass. Uh, it's a great platform to exchange, to debate, to learn. And we're looking forward to organizing another Family Office Masterclass next year. With over two centuries of investment and wealth management expertise, Picte has an unmatched understanding of families and financial stability. Masterclasses such as this one equip guests with a toolkit for how to negotiate challenging times and create an environment in which families can exchange ideas on how to nurture and protect their wealth over generations.